Hello and thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I've got my co-anchors with me, um, Ife Omai and the guy we left behind in the morning, <laughs> Benny Ag. It, 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 it was pretty a sexist show, but it's all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was, that was pretty much gender in, in inequality. Yeah, it was gender specific. <laughs> you come. Thank you. Oh, I like that. Uh, well, Did you watch it, the show? When it comes to us, it's gender specific. Yeah. But if it's, if it's, you guys are receiving it, it's gender inequality. Oh, when is right. Father's yeah. Day again? I think it's June, right? It's like Father's Day, they really, they live in a men's world. But, uh, well, um, but when is Father's Day? I don't know. I think, I, I think I, it's June. So do we you, have you, a day? You should. You should. Uh, really, you have, we should really have a day. I'm touched right now. Please, I beg you. Did you watch oh, it? I will create yeah, something for and you. And what did you think? Great, great show, great yeah. show, great uh, perspective and opinions. And I like the fact many of the ladies kept it real. You know mm. what I mean? Nobody was trying to get into that mode of society. Eat love, pray. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, you can do this, girl. Yeah, I mean, it, it is. You never can tell why some people find themselves in certain situations and don't judge anybody for whatever you know decision they make and the actions you see. So right. it was. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. Okay, I'm, I'm glad you did. So if you did, I'm sure our viewers did as well. So moving on to the topics for this episode, Yon Thok suggests um, coronavirus pandemic is judgment from God. Hmm. He backs this up with a Bible verse. Uh, that's the Second Chronicles 7 verse 13. Mm. Yeah. Whoever. If that's the case, then Nigeria has been in hell for a long time. <laughs> As far as me, I'm concerned, uh -huh. we've been doing hell for a long time. Pandemic. How many, how many times have we died from things that are so frivolous? How many times have we been oppressed and still been oppressed? Like, but if real. God, if God were to be angry with Nigeria, then he, he has, <laughs> he has, he or she Sorry. has every right. I'm going, I'm going to have a different perspective. <laughs> okay, this, cool. Right? I mean, young thug. Well, that's his personal opinion, and I cannot argue that with him. You know, but at the end it's of the day... It's difficult to argue with someone who has the name Young and Thor. Like, young I'm like, Thor, When I want to know, start, I'm like, okay, don't worry. Let's even assume <laughs> indeed that, I mean, this is, like he said, it's a judgment from God. But I'm just wondering why, if you love the world so much and you love the people you created in it, why would you want to punish have them for something the you don't even know nothing about? Have you read the Bible? Um, but this I'm Bible just is, saying, is, is attacking his folks as well. Don't forget, don't forget it. There, there are a lot of faults in, in, in the Bible. Man wrote it. All right? Oh, wait, but that's the Old yeah. Testament. And he oh, has promised that he would never... This is it, I'm just saying. Yes. I mean, in, if, if it's a man-woman relationship, that's an abusive relationship that I want to teach you something, I want to teach you how to go about something, and I have to punish you to teach you that thing. I have to bring some kind of disaster your way to teach you. Isn't that what abuse is? So, I mean, that means we're having a very abusive relationship with this God. So, mm -hmm. I, don't think, I don't think that is who God really is, that mm -hmm. for him to teach his children stuff, mm -hmm. he has to make them suffer, mm -hmm. go through some disease, and sometimes we'll kill them. Oppress your foot. Well, the Bible, you know? the Bible, the Bible <laughs> said mm -hmm. that was who he is to be. Mm. Oh, okay. He has changed, he has changed now. If God can now. change, okay. uh -huh. there is hope for men. <laughs> and maybe there is hope for... Um, I'm just saying. Elisha, yeah. well. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. I mean, there are different conspiracy out there about this coronavirus of thing. You know what I mean? Amazing. I came across a video, um, a TED talk Bill Gates did sometimes in 2015, and guess what it was about? Yeah, that this, is this virus. thing coming. Yeah. You know, like okay. I don't know how we make so much noise you, about it. Like you know, in science, there's always been patterns of diseases. There's yeah, we, brand new we didn't about get to talk like, about. Exactly. Um, what was it again yesterday about the virus? Okay, um, is it the female? Artist that was saying the virus has something to do with 5G network. Uh, that's that's I'm um, talking. I mean, that's um, this lady, this singer now, um, Carrie Hilson. Yes, Carrie Hilson. What was up say, with that? You know, because well, that, that text was that's very another conspiracy ignorant. theory, that's right? Theory, she, she she backed up a claim saying, and look at look at um, the African continent that because we're not on 5G. We don't have it, coronavirus. It's not, it it's not, not prevalent yeah. like it is in the European so countries. So internet is, is you know. the cause of coronavirus. But this is it. There, no, no, there's there, not there been has any... always been a, 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 should I say, a research now that is kicking against 5G network. Yeah. Um, but what it's going to do to people. If you know, gets... radioactive emission right. has its bad yeah, it effect does, on human yeah. health. Right, but right. so far on that claim she made, there's, there's not been any scientific proof hmm. to say indeed there that There is a lot of conspiracy G, theories. And of course that will happen. The research as well, well, actually based on science, science 
as well. So, it's, it's but was it concluded? It's, 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 it's not COVID, concluded, yes. but you know, um, it's an ongoing research. I mean, uh, you expect that religious people will have a theory uh, oh, yeah. about this. I mean, that's the, the core of it. To well, they have a design. representation, young yeah. thug. So, yeah, mm -hmm. and it gives them a, a scripture. I mean, if you look at the scripture, I mean, there's always been every season and everybody's like, my parents when they were younger saw that the, the world was about to end because there was something that was showing in the Bible. So, yeah, mm, yeah okay. Re remember, they said the world was going to come to an end in 2000. And 2009 and 2002. And we're still here. I don't know if coronavirus is what is going to actually kill us, but something might kill us for sure. Hmm. Something must have killed him. It's not coronavirus, please. Um, I'm still, I'm yet to enjoy this world to the fullest. I'm just starting. Mm. My baby girl is just resuming. It can't just <laughs> cut short. Okay. Believe it, no. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> okay, so still on coronavirus. Files the bad guys is suspend your romantic relationship for now. Hmm. So, um, how wow. did he put it? He said, stay protected, guys. No touching, no kerosene in time like this. Suspend your romantic relationship for now. Tense, hmm. tense. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think, Benny? What do I think? Hmm. I, I, don't about that. I, don't know, I don't know about suspending. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just going to say who you're messing around with. And so, if you're not too certain about... I mean, hey, anybody can get this in Nigeria. Now, if Idris Elba can get it, I mean... Um, because he was exposed. So yes, if, your, exposed. if your partner it. is exposed, if your oh, partner, uh, oh yeah, yeah, if they yeah, just yeah. came in from China, then that's that's worrisome. What would you then, do? Uh, what what would I do? You just came board? in from, <laughs> from China. I'm, we're practicing social distancing. <laughs> You know, we kiss from a distance, we touch yeah. from a distance. It's social distancing. That's that's a good measure we put in place. To conquer all. Uh, that is love you. conquering right there. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I need to, I need to be alive to be loved and to give love. So mm. social distancing, not abstinence. Social for how distancing. Many days? Fourteen days, right? Yeah. So to yeah. give to give it time for for yeah. when. You know, I tell to do that test. We so say breathing for ten seconds. We can hold exactly. your breath. Oh, hold hold your breath. breath. Fourteen days to avoid yeah. someone for fourteen days in Lagos is not difficult. At all. It's, it's pretty simple. We're pretty yeah, much giving them That's it. That's it. The people. This relationship, mainland island, that's distant enough. Okay. I don't, I don't gotta see. I mean, I, I understand where he's coming from, but I, I don't think it's realistic, especially no. for couples that live together. I, mm. I, it's one of those things where if you are living with, together with someone, if you catch it, you just catch it. Don't worry, and you're, at this point, you have it. This is the point you're supposed to say, Tango for singleness. So. <laughs> <laughs> you have it. Okay. You can still get it from work, but I don't know. It, it's, it's. I've, I've gotten to a yeah. point where, like, yeah. I feel like. I don't know if it's only me that this is happening too, but because I've watched other continents get it so bad, mm -hmm. now that it's coming to Africa, I'm like so over it. I'm not even afraid anymore. I'm just like, well, let the thing come. We're ready for it. Like, if it's that, well, yeah. because uh, my worry is that we would not be able to track how many people actually have it mm -hmm. because we don't have that type of um, we don't. Uh, capacity, right? And I also know that some people will have it and survive from it and they won't even know And that, to be honest with you, that's where my energy is now, mm -hmm. is that whatever happens, I am living a type of lifestyle that is increasing my immune system. So whether or not I have it, I don't know, it's kicking it out because you can't recover from that. Oh. And I'm going to have to back on the fact that I'm young, I'm healthy, and there's nothing necessarily wrong with me. So I'm a and what's pretty hard come about on. what's pretty hard about the symptoms of this COVID nineteen is that it's similar to some of the symptoms we get from maybe yes. some, you know it's it's nothing so uh, uh, symptoms, strange. Not strange. I remember seeing that you know? meme where they were like, oh, you have an, a funny itch, and you're like, Corona is that you? Is that you, fam? <laughs> Because you don't know what it looks but like. Again, I, I, I also uh, see another meme taking shots of single people yeah. saying that, um, imagine when um, Nigeria gets it to that point where we have to um, be isolated and then you're single and you're the only one in your house. <laughs> well, you that you you know, for, for, for couples out there who can't, this is it, I mean, maybe for singles who are dating, social distancing, that's what the WHO okay. and everybody what is working on. That's no. what the world, I'm, I'm just saying, yet, okay? I'm just saying. We're not where. We're not there yet for social distancing. No, but still, still let's still put it out. We are there. Yeah. For social distancing, we are we, we there. We have to practice oh, it. Because already now, there's, there's, there's a reported, people, there's an alleged reported right? case, but there are five people also. Has they asked us to socially distance ourselves? We're still going past those for them to ask you. I feel like you have to get to a point where you don't have to panic. I mean, know, this I might, this might come up from right. I'm, I'm, I've been practicing something for the last few days, and it's so funny. And like in general space where you know people use doors and others and all mm. that stuff, I don't, I don't hope open anymore. No, no, no you can't do that. Just handle. wash and use sanitizer. I mean, offices, offices should provide hand sanitizers, offices, all, all, all hello, of the okay, stuff, I mean, because they should do hand all of that. Sanitizers. And I'm Thank looking you. forward to the first um, religious city that's going to say, you know, because of this, no more service. That's it. I mean, that will suffer. It's time for a break, but when we return, more on the AGN saga.
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling all right. Minimal mm. Akpala music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. Now on to the AGN saga. Ketensho has reacted to Emeka Rula's interview. Um, says he lacks respect. Um, let's just watch the video. I called you. You said you were on a TV interview and that you would call me back 12 p.m. on the dot. The conversations are there. You didn't call back. I called you, your phone rang, called again, even after I saw your Plus TV interview in which you were grandstanding, saying or speaking out of your buccal cavity that you would have to check your members list or your registration to see if Hilda Dokobo and I are members of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. Um, in February, when you wrote me a letter via your secretary, Abu, wanting to confer on me the title of veteran actor of the guild, I wonder whom you were writing to. The letter is there. I've put it up on my Twitter handle, which is at Henshaw Kate. Also on the 7th of March, when you reached out to me to travel somewhere with you as an esteemed member or person in the entertainment industry you see this reaching out to me I guess it's because I am someone you have to deal with what I would like you to do is to concentrate on making sure the guild is an association worthy of note this is the same guild where you have said that we shouldn't come on social media to talk about these things and that we should go and sit down somewhere. As you can see, I'm seated. And that if you have to dig into people's personal past, nobody would stand, dig, whatever. No one doesn't have a past. So Emeka Rolas Ejezie, you cannot tell me to keep quiet. Please check your register all you want. This is not the last of it. Keep talking. I guess you had a very nice feeling, you know, this goosebumps when we were, you were on TV. You never expect it. But hey, I know what it feels like to be in the limelight, to have cameras pointing at you and a microphone. So please, by all means, speak. But you see this world, it's a small place. We're being told about social distancing because of the coronavirus, perhaps you use that as a measure to distance yourself from certain individuals who do not bode well for this association of ours. Okay, so social distancing, and on and on. great. Mm -hmm. And um, also Victoria Nyama responded as well to the video and she was, of course, basically very offended, saying that she and um, Prince Ifa and DK and some other people were the ones who actually started um, the AGN. So that's her post. Um, Victoria, um, because I will never see him as one American, I am shocked at your use of words. Very few of us headed by Prince Ifan Indike started AGN way before you even became That's an good. artist or musician. Hmm. Hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. here we go. Um, it's, 
we, I feel like we really dealt with this topic yesterday. Yeah. And my anger still remains the same. It hasn't changed, it hasn't wavered. It's nice to see that she's responding and she's keeping the conversation going. Because one of the problems is that you have a news that explodes and then it dies down really quickly. So I like that she's still kind of like milking it. But uh, my problem, my, my real problem is that we are dealing with a man who has proven, because it's not just an opinion, that he doesn't care. Because if he did, he wouldn't even spit out those words. And I really do believe that he doesn't even see why we are so in our feelings about it. So I don't know where this conversation is going to go to. And that's my biggest worry, that we'll all be offended and we'll all be juiced up and nothing's going to happen. Um, he is, she is a member, but he is the president. And if that's the type of body that, uh, that's been ruled, I think she has to start questioning whether or not you want to actually be part of this organization. But to think that maybe she has the power to change the organization from head now, because it looks like from the top is, is even corrupt, from head to bottom, it might be a bit hard. But it, it's a wake up call to understand that these are the people that are ruling us. These are the people that are heading our, our, our society. So it makes me understand that we have a long way to go. We have serious issues. But I, I'm following the story and I want to see how it ends. Yeah, for me, I'm hoping that someone will change the conversation, change it in the sense um, of making him understand what he's doing. Because I think, like you said, he doesn't understand the gravity of what he said yeah. or what his perception is and how wrong it is. If someone can speak to him, maybe this if I DK like they mentioned or Zeb Eju, someone who understands who I want to believe he respects and would look up to to sit him down to explain to him, even using legal terms, because he's making it look like he wants to look at it from the legal yeah, angle. Yeah. But from what Kate Henshaw is saying, this case is apparently still in court. Yeah. So <laughs> why are you acting like he has been exonerated and you don't see no wrong in what he has done? Mm. Nobody's saying, I'm seeing people saying, oh, let's give him a second chance. He has apologized. Give who a second chance? Uh, Elisha. He doesn't deserve a second chance. You know, mm -hmm. but if you, if you think he has apologized and um, he should be given a second chance, I think that apology is good enough. Why don't you allow people he has um, hurt to decide to say, okay, this is the time and do other things in other And capacity. even if we give him a second See, chance, it right? doesn't have to be a patron of a whole I was just going to say that, you know, you know, and this is, like, this, is, this is the reason why we are where we are today, right? Mm. Because people in the likes of Elisha Abo and Emeka Rodas are in position of authority and the culture of impunity thrives. That is why the culture of impunity thrives. They do stuff that society should find out and it should even get a jail term mm -hmm. for, like in the person of um, the, the senator, mm -hmm. Elisha Abo, but nothing has been done about it. Mm. The culture of impunity will continue to strive. And then somebody sits on TV and say, you know what, I mean, let's talk about legality and morality. He doesn't think um, there are people out there better than Elisha Abo and maybe they should Expose people's lives. Mm -hmm. they, they could be worse up than Elisha Abo. You it's missed probably, the entire it's point. Yeah. Done worse than what you know, yes. You missed oh, the entire point. He doesn't even point. see that what Elisha has done is a problem. And when he did say he, he will need to confirm with the books if um, Yoda Dokubo and Kedensho oh, were members, I, yeah. I found that pretty much absurd. I'm like, really, sir? That's really preposterous coming from you as the president. And, and here was Kedensho. That, yeah. So you reached out to me twice within the space of how many months? And sorry, now you can't. It's an esteemed you know, member. Now mm -hmm. you can't remember all of this. For me, I have a big question for him, I'm to meet with him um, face to face. Do you have daughters? Hmm. And imagine your daughter was assaulted by a man. And then you sit and you watch this man a, being group, glorified. a group of people glorifying this man and making him a patron. A How patron? would that make you feel? Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. And if you're not going to feel anywhere about it and you still be cool the way you felt cool talking about it yesterday, then you need to get your head checked. There's something he wrong with you. Does. Like I said yesterday, he's a bigger problem to me than even the um, the senator yeah, himself. He's, yeah. he's endorsing it. He's too blind. It's too worrying. It's definitely negative. I would be very surprised if this man isn't as violent as this person because there's no way you can normalize that. See that video and say those words. Like, it doesn't add up. And an apology is okay? No. I mean, it in crimes, in systems, he wasn't even apologizing. Let's remember, he was charging at Mrs. Tinubu when oh, yeah. she yeah. when she, I mean, she was trying to scold him. So this man has serious anger issues. But this is Nigeria, and this is our situation, and it's very terrifying. In, in system that work, he would have been recalled a long time ago. He has no right to to stay in, in a system in that work. He would have resigned by mm -hmm. himself yeah. the very first day that video surfaced on the internet. But let's move on to another story before we call it a day. Um, Ramsey Noah blows hot after the TV he purchased 
got damaged in less than a month. Oh. <laughs> he said the screen got damaged after it was hit by a squash ball as a result of his kids playing around. Um, Noah said that the entire TV packed up as a result and um, when he took it to the store, he was told the screen does not um, cover warranty and the amount to fix the screen is about 80% of the entire cost hmm. or the um, entire TV cost. You know, I, don't, I, don't know, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what state of mind of being <laughs> Ramsey was <clears throat> when, he, when he put out this. Because I know I bought electronics a lot of times and they tell you what warranty covers. Mm. Damage is not inflicted by you, they will take care of it. But if it's a damage that you cost, I'm sorry, warranty does not cover that. It's like buying a phone and they tell you, you know what, anything aside you dropping the phone and it breaking, anything else that goes wrong with the phone, the warranty will cover. But once the phone drops from you, you make that phone drop mm -hmm. in your hand. They're not liable to, and warranty doesn't cover that. So I'm wondering like, what is he on about? I mean, you just said yourself, a baseball. <laughs> a squash ball. <laughs> I don't know, our celebrities, I mean, See. as much as I admire them, they constantly. I was supposed to jump on this and I say, yes, you're right. Us. Like, is it looking for a cost to champion? And tried to also make it look like <coughs> it's a serious me. matter. No, no, it made I mean, it look like it's a Nigerian thing. Mm. So, for that reason, I mean, sometimes even when you know something well, and like, you know, at least I know warranty is supposed to be the manufacturer putting their hand to their chest to tell you that this product last. does not have any manufacturer's effect yeah. for at least three months to. Any Two factory years, right? any mm. factory fault to me yeah. that but he made it look like it's a Nigerian thing. So I had oh. to reach out to people that are in there abroad yeah. to say, please, oh. does the warranty you put have over there cover screen and when you just carry the TV and throw it on the floor or squash it? But you're like, no. That's Once right. it is an accident that is caused by are you, what you need is an insurance, which is why when you're buying something like this, it's expected that you also do insurance at that point. That's so the, of the insurance warranty. is when they come to now tell you, oh, okay, in case of any accident, I got your back. But not warranty. Factory mm. settings, factory defaults. Yes, the warranty will cover, but not that uh, taking your child's squash ball or whatever ball and First hitting of the screen all, and it breaks. He's, he's quite slow. Me, when I want to use my warranty, I lie. It's what? me that I was like, I woke up all and I saw, lie, and like, I saw I mean, whatever. How would the screen have that kind of damage if nothing? Yeah, that like kind of work. What I'm saying is mm. that. First of all, you have to first of all put the lies small. It <laughs> look like as if no, you know, they are. It was out of hand or whatever. You know, and then still deal with that. But one of my issues is that I, I could, I, I don't. This is just me personally, but I could sense that he had gone out of his budget a little bit. When you, when you, this is just me. That's when you, you well, you because shouldn't be ranting you're right about, over... You're right about it, because yeah, the emphasis you, was so much on the $400 and 1500 you know like, And then you look like, like you said, the basic sense. Like, if you buy an expensive car, mm. like, you can't compare, like, a Lexus 2020 to, like, a Kia or whatever. Mm. You know that you spend money even on little things like the lights Sorry, I mean, or the whatever. So if you can't afford to fix a 500000 Naira TV, then you shouldn't don't buy it. one. Oh. But that's just me, personally. No, you, I, I, share, I share that with you. Don't, don't, it made so much... There was so much effort about the money. The money, I'm like... And it's kind of ridiculous. Like, talk about privilege. Like, well, in a country where... It's irritating. Like, you talk to your friends about this. Don't go on social media and, telling and us about how there. you go. First of all, you want us to know that your TV is 500,000 naira. Okay. I'm and then now it's 80,000 naira, 80% to fix it. And it's like, okay, so what's not up? I'm like, I don't understand. Should I go into your comments and like rub your shoulders? Like, what no, do but you I, want? I, I even feel like she would come and talk to me about your TV that is just 500 bucks. <laughs> I, didn't I mean, this is go this it, it's 500,000 naira. I'm saying, no, I don't want to talk right, about cool. it. Please. Hey, mm, okay. I need sorry, sir. We're okay. sorry about your TV. It's yeah, okay. So your warranty does not cover your squash body. That's how we wrap up this episode of T Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode by visiting our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch it I am on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Benny Ark and Ife Omai, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Just stay with us.